Hi everybody and welcome to Oscar Outdoors. Join me in this one as I go over the contents of my Possibles pouch. Welcome back everyone, so as in the little intro today we're going to go over the contents of my Possibles pouch. If you're a regular to channel you'll know that I had a load of gear stolen and this is what I've been doing. I've been going out and replacing it and then replenishing all the pouches exactly the way that it was before it was taken. Uh, so yeah, uh, there are a couple of little different things in there where I've not been able to get the exact same products. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go through the pouch and then we'll go uh, through the contents. Stick with me. So first of all, what is a possible's pouch? So a possible's pouch is something that could possibly happen and some little tools or things to help you if one of those sort of situations arrives or arises, you know. Uh, so in here there's just some uh, fire lighting, there's some water purification, you know, there's all kinds of different things all in this tiny, tiny little pouch. And it, it lives on the side of my um, big Molly compatible backpack um, that I'm just about to finish off. But yeah, this is the Possible's pouch, so let's go through what's inside. Yeah, first up the pouch itself. So as you can see, it's a dual zip down both sides, nothing on the front for attachments. On the side, similar to the fire kit, if you've seen that video, we've got the Molly. Uh, tabs on the side, both sides, and then the Molly and Paul's attachment system on the back. It's got a Velcro patch on the front for your own patch, and then Velcro clothes on the top, and then ripping open like a clamshell. So we'll get that done right now. So open it up, just do both zips down both sides, and rip open the pack. So as you can see, I've not really got very far with my Possibles pouch as such. Uh, I've just bought something else that I'm going to add into this uh, during the video. But let's uh, go through what we've got. So first of all, here is like a little handheld uh, torch. This is the Phoenix PD25R, which I've done a full review on. If you want to check that video out, I'll leave that in the description for you. Again, we've got some pocket bellows. Here we've got a 12 kilonewton rated carabiner. And here we've got a multi screwdriver with all the little different attachments in there. So flathead, Phillips, uh, hexagon Torx, that sort of thing. So that's in the sort of main sort of drop down pocket. And as you can see, I've still got some space left here for some small items to go in there. So possibly a lighter, uh, could maybe be the tubes for my water filtration system, that sort of thing. Uh, so we'll go through what we've got up in the top panels now. So on this left hand pocket, I'm going to pull out, sort of put everything in some little bags just to protect everything. So you can see we've got a little knife sharp in there, two different grits that I've cable tied together just so that I've got it in my hand. We do have some small cable ties. Here we've got one of the little mosquito pads for the flex tail gear uh, mosquito repeller that I've done a review on as well. And then just behind there we've got some water filtration tablets from Oasis. So that's just all in that little component storage bag there. On the opposite side, so I do a lot of hammock camping and in here there's just like some replacement bits for a lot of the hammock uh, camping. So you can see a loop alien there, you see a little gear clip, you can see a bungee cord, a couple of zipper pulls in there, got some glow in the dark ones, got uh, a couple of carabiners, one of the little espinas, sorry. And a couple of guy line tensions, so there's all kinds of different things there. But they'll also come in handy on tents as well. But that's all in one little component storage bag as well. Up here, we've got some sort of three mil sort of bungee cord, uh, quite stretchy. Again, that'll help for um, guy lines and things like that. Speaking of guy lines, we do have a replacement guy line in there as well. Here we've got one of the uh, gelet sort of towels where you add it to water and it just expands. 
then we've got here just a simple foil blanket and then here we've got a, a little credit card holder full of the Bigfoot bushcraft fire lighters keeping them nice and fresh and then here we've got a USB-C and a USB micro cable that we keep all in the pocket bush pouch as spares so yeah that's it so far for the possibles pouch as i said i have bought something else so stick with me i'll put all this away and i'll bring that into the video okay so this is something that i picked up to go into my possibles pouch now, it looks very very similar to a soya mini squeeze but it isn't actually one it's an unbranded version picked up from uh, aliexpress but obviously it looks identical and probably going to work identical as well uh, so 20 mil thread on the bottom for attaching to sports drinks bottles and things like that then you've got a clear probably about a 500 mil um, water pouch got a 10 mil syringe I guess for cleaning and then you've got a straw to help push through and for cleaning as well so I'm just going to add that into the pouch Okay, so this has been a quick run through of the contents of my possibles pouch but as you can see i do have a lot few other different uh, pouch kits that i've been working on recently that live on my uh, molly compatible backpack all the time uh, so the fire kit and the cook set so i'll leave links to them in the description uh, but if you're not already please consider subscribing to the channel so you can see more videos of these things in use and find out what's on the sideboard for them uh, but yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up Comment, let me know what you thought about it, let me know what you'd add into there, let me know what you'd take out of there, let me know what you thought about what I've put in. And obviously I'll keep expanding and adding into there as time goes on when things hit me in the head. So yeah, if you're not already, consider subscribing to the channel by pressing this in the middle. I'll see you guys in the next one.